Several people from the small Māori villages around Tarawera heeded the Tohunga's warnings and moved away. A number came here to Matata, to this coastal marae of the Arawa tribe. More than six centuries after their forebears reached New Zealand and two centuries after Captain Cook's arrival, the descendants of the first Arawa canoe, which made its landfall a few kilometres down the coast, remember a past in which history blends with legendary deeds and legend itself. Not only did Ngātoro Irangi, the tohunga or priest of the Arawa, it was to this marae that further survivors of the Tarawera eruption were moved to start a new life. A hundred years ago, there were certainly premonitions of some sort of disaster, but the eruption itself came without warning.